Okay, so in this problem, we're told for the given state of stress, determine A, the orientation of the planes of maximum in-plane shearing stress, B, the maximum in-plane shearing stress, and C, the corresponding normal stress. Um, and that's what we're going to be solving for. So um, we're given this figure here. And the first thing we always want to do is find our sigma x, sigma y, and tau xy. And so we do that based on the figure here. So uh, the first thing we got to recognize is how to find sigma x. So the value is 18. The way you find it is by looking at these arrows right here. So the corresponding value is 18. And since they're pointing outwards, the value is positive. Uh, and then we look at the parallel to the y. So our sigma y. So it's these two arrows. They're pointing in, so our value is negative. And the value is 12, so minus 12 ksi. And then for our shear, or the tau, um, if they're pointing in either the top right and bottom left like this, then the value is positive. If the arrows were pointing this here and here, it would be negative. So since it's doing top right, it's positive, so 8 ksi. So uh, really for this problem, it's just a matter of plugging things into formulas. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So the first part is the orientation of the planes of maximum in-plane shearing stress. So basically they just want the angle. So the way we solve this is by doing this formula, the tangent of two, uh, we'll call this theta, S is equal to minus sigma X minus sigma Y over tau XY, or sorry, two tau XY. So uh, all we gotta do is plug in the values. So let's go ahead and do that. So we know that sigma X is 18, sigma Y is minus 12, and then tau XY is 8 KSI. So we're just solving for uh, theta S because that's gonna be the orientation or basically the angle. That's what they're asking for. So uh, let's just go ahead and plug it in. So we have minus, so it's gonna be minus, or sorry, 18 minus, minus 12 divided by two times eight. Yeah, and so uh, what you wanna do now is, right, so we just plug this value in, uh, and then you're gonna take the arc tangent of both sides to get rid of the tangent. So it'd be the arc tangent of this whole thing. Uh, and then you're just dividing by two to get the theta by itself. Keep in mind, it's the whole thing. You're dividing the arc tangent. Um, and then, yeah, so you, I'll leave that to you to plug in, but you're going to find that it's equal to minus 30.96. And then when you do this, you want to um, always add 90 because you're basically given two angles, or you want you want to write the answer as two different angles. So because when you just shift it 90, all, it, it's leaving the angle the same, but it's just writing it a different way. Since it's it could be maximum, it's kind of hard to explain, but like, let's say it's maximum here. It's also maximum here, which is 90 degrees apart. So hopefully that makes sense. But if you add 90 to this, you're going to get 59.04. So your answers for A, or the orientation of it, is minus 30.96 degrees, and then 59.04 degrees. So these are your answers to A, or the orientation of the block. Cool. Um, so that's A. Now let's move on to B. So for B, what you're going to want to do is find, uh, right, they want us to find, let's see, maximum in-plane shearing stress. So for this, you're just using this formula. Tau max is equal to sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 squared plus tau x y squared. So it's just a matter of plugging it in. It's relatively simple. So this is 18 minus minus 12 divided by 2, square it, plus, and this is 8 squared. So go ahead and plug this in your calculator. You'll get tau max, or your max shearing, is 17 KSI. So this is your answer to B. Um, yeah, 
And then your answer, or what they're looking for in C, is the corresponding normal stress. So basically, they're just asking for sigma average. Um, and then the formula for this is sigma x plus sigma y over 2. So this is really easy. It's just 18 minus 12 over 2, which is 6 over 2, which equals 3. So sigma average, which is what they want, right? The corresponding normal stress is 3.00 KSI. Keep in mind working with KSI the whole time. So, uh, yeah. So your answer for C is 3 KSI. That's the corresponding normal stress. The maximum in plane shearing stress is right here, 17 KSI. Uh, and then this is going to be the orientation of the planes of maximum in plane shearing stress. And so you got to know that they're 90 degrees apart. So um, you just add 90 and you can write your answer as two different ones. Um, but yeah, so these are going to go ahead and be your answers. And uh, yeah, hopefully you found this video useful. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching the video. Uh, and if you're interested in helping to support the channel and some other interesting perks, please consider becoming a channel member today. You can find more information on that by clicking the join button, which is located next to the subscribe button. And then also, if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one private tutoring from me, whether that's in engineering, physics, or math, uh, please check the description for more information on that. Uh, but yeah, thank you and happy learning.